What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Wednesday has exceeded all expectations, become a global phenomenon and took the Addams Family franchise to a new level. There's nothing else to say, just hold tight, season 2 is on the way. Even though Tim Burton's Wednesday stunned everyone by garnering a billion hours' worth of views in less than a month, it was sure to happen. The character of Wednesday Adams, created by cartoonist Charles Adams for his 1938 comic book The Adams Family, serves as the inspiration for the show. Later, Wednesday was adapted for live action in 1964 and 1991 with Lisa Loring and later Christina Ricci playing the role, which helped make the character well known. It was always going to be risky to update the character for a modern audience, but the adaptation's astounding success suggests that it should have been done sooner. Wednesday Season 1 premiered on November 23rd and has since become a pop culture phenomenon. In addition to ranking as the second most watched English language Netflix series, it has now been nominated for two Golden Globes. Tim Burton received a pilot script from Wednesday showrunners Miles Miller and Alfred Goh in 2019 and the show was subsequently announced in October 2020. It's easy to see how the anticipation of a Tim Burton Adams family project contributed to Wednesday's record-breaking success. It was just a matter of choosing the right project to move forward with because Burton's distinctive gothic style was always going to mesh perfectly with the macabre nature of the Adams family. A local killing spree, a supernatural mystery, and the titular teenage daughter of the fabled clan are all followed as she adjusts to life at a new school for outcasts and struggles with her developing psychic ability. We're already excited for more from the young Adams and her new friends now that the Nevermore Academy monster has been solved, a mystery that truly made Wednesday worth watching. What kinds of creatures and mysteries might be revealed by the school's script? Could Enid finally persuade Wednesday to do something other than all black and all white? Don't bet on that last one. But what about more bizarre events? Be sure of it. Even though Wednesday is currently only scheduled for one season, the show's creators clearly have bigger plans than just a single trip given all the loose ends. Alfred Go, a co-creator of the series, spoke about the potential for the franchise to grow in an interview and said, Miles and I are talking amongst ourselves about it. There's definitely more than you can explore in the world of the Adamses. The two seem very unlikely to abandon the Wednesday story unfinished, although Guff's sentiment is fairly general and may inspire the investigation of another Adam's stories. The production schedule for Season 1 can be used to estimate the release date of Wednesday Season 2, even though the time between the seasons of the Netflix original series varies. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Season 1 of Wednesday was officially ordered by Netflix in February 2021, with production set to start in September. Season 2 will probably take at least another year after it's formally renewed, given that Wednesday debuted a little over a year after filming started. Wednesday, however, is an exception because Adam's Family content is typically reserved for fall releases. We're looking at an early to mid-2024 release date for Wednesday if Netflix decides to renew it and follows the same production schedule. Wednesday would require 6 months of shoot and 8 months for post-production. The majority of the main cast from Wednesday's first season will probably return for season 2. Naturally, Wednesday wouldn't be Wednesday without Jenna Ortega reprising the iconic role of cult teenager Wednesday Adams and likely Catherine Zeta-Jones, Louis Guzman, Isaac Ordonez, and Fred Armisen would be returning as the Morticia, Gomez, Pugsley, and Uncle Fester and perhaps even younger versions of Morticia and Gomez if there are flashbacks. Of course, Victor Doraban's thing will be returning. Likewise, Musa Mustafa as Eugene, Joyce Sunday as Bianca, Percy Hines White as Xavier, and Emma Myers as Enid. Gwendolyn Christie's Larissa Weems may have bitten the big one, but her death was a little confusing. She may return, after all, resurrections are a thing in this world, and her story arch did seem a little rushed. Because there were multiple deaths at the end of Wednesday Season 1, those characters are unlikely to return for the Season 2 if that happens. Mrs. Thornhill, played by Christina Ricci, might make another appearance because she didn't quite achieve her goals. Though we don't think Tyler will remain her mismanaged pet, we're almost certain he did escape and are even more certain that he'll reappear in Wednesday's life. A friend, lover, or enemy is yet to be determined, yet Hunter Duhans Tyler certainly has his theories on the fate of his character. Along the way, Wednesday learns a disturbing truth about her parents' school days and viewers get to see a young Morticia and Gomez. The rest of the Adams family does not make much of an appearance on Wednesday, despite the plotline. 
Although it doesn't last for many episodes, the Morticia and Gomez storyline plays a significant role in Wednesday's journey. Pugsley is also given even less screen time than ever more students return home at the end of semester, so season 2 might focus more on Wednesday's life at home before the never more students return, or the family might get more involved at the academy. However, considering how well-established Wednesday's life at Nevermore and the other characters have become, Season 2 of Wednesday ought to feature more of the Adams family. There are many ways Wednesday can expand the scope of the program and further the character development of the other Adams family members, including introducing the family's missing members, such as Grandmama and Cousin It. The Adams family might visit Nevermore given Pugsley's advancing age and the vacant principal position at the Academy, since Morticia is a well-known alumnus it would make sense for the rest of the family to follow her if she were to get the job. Xavier's father, Victor Thorpe, may have texted Wednesday Adams in the season 1 finale, according to a new theory. Throughout season 1, Victor Thorpe, a reputedly famous psychic, was said to have been an enigmatic presence. He may make his on screen debut as the main antagonist of Wednesday, season 2, and the threatening text is the first salvo in his campaign against her. Throughout Season 1, there was tension between Xavier and Wednesday because Xavier harbored an unrequited crush on the woman who had once saved his life and then caused him to be wrongfully imprisoned. Xavier, on the other hand, demonstrated to Wednesday that there were no hard feelings at the end of Season 1 when he gave her a phone with his number already programmed in. As she was leaving the school grounds, she received a threatening text which gave Wednesday Season 2 a new mystery. There are several reasons to believe the invisible Victor Thorpe is the main suspect. One of Wednesday Season 2's biggest mysteries is likely to resolve around Wednesday Stalker, but the show will also need a new antagonist to propel the plot. With the ability, desire, and chance to make Wednesday's life challenging in retaliation for disclosing his son's history of mental health issues to the media, Victor Thorpe could easily pass for such a villain. Thorpe is not only wealthy in comparison to the Adams family, but also famous. Given that Wednesday is still developing her abilities without the assistance of Goody Adams, his psychic abilities could also make him a dangerous opponent on a mystic level. Thorpe could also be a member of the larger group working with Laurel Gates to destroy Nevermore Academy, if not its mastermind. This conspiracy may be connected to the Nightshades, Secret Society, and the puzzle surrounding why their organization was forced to dissolve 30 years ago following the passing of a normal kid. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. If Victor Thorpe is associated with this group, it might be clear how Laurel Gates was able to use the Nightshade's library and where she got her inside information about the facility. In any case, Thorpe should play a significant role in Wednesday Season 2, whether as a grand villain or a minor annoyance. See you in the next video.